The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While he was speaking, a woman from the crowd called out and said to him, Blessed is the womb that carried you and the breasts at which you nursed. He replied, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. The Gospel of the Lord. So we were in the ninth century before Christ. Around in the ninth century before Christ when happened what we just read in the first reading, first book of Kings, chapter 18. The context is the prophet Elijah was uh, escaping, he was uh, going away because uh, he was persecuted by Jezebel. You remember Jezebel, the wife of the king. And uh, Ahab is the king. And uh, Elijah just killed all the prophets of uh, Baal, the, the god, the pagan god. And uh, so Elijah is escaping, he's going away. And during this long path, he's so tired. And he's so thirsty. And he's so scared. That he prays to God saying, I just cannot stand it anymore. Take my life. Because I'm not better than, than my ancestors, than my fathers. But yes, we know that God sent to him the angel who gave him food, who gave him some bread for two times. So the voice of God told him, uh, wake up and eat this bread. And with the strength of this bread, you will be able to go up to the mountain. That mountain is the Mount Carmel. Why Elijah has to go there? Because uh, for the command of God, Elijah had, had previously uh, ordered um, that all over the earth would not rain. So no rain all over the earth. That was the crisis of the moment. So an empty sky with no clouds, only the sun. So Elijah goes up to the Mount Carmel. We also have to say that this mount is like a balcony on, on, on a plain, a very important plain, that is the plain of Megiddo. Megiddo, in the, in the Apocalypse, in the book of Revelation, is, an, is a known to be the place of the last battle. Is a symbol of something that we will only understand when we will be there, or, or who, the ones who will be called to be there, because that will be the last battle before the end of the experience of the world. So Mount Carmel is a balcony on the plan of Megiddo. And there, um, yes, happened exactly what we read in the first reading. The prophet Elijah saw this little cloud, so a cloud full of rain was coming out from the horizon, coming in, in the sky, and then the rain came. Uh, this little cloud, all, the, all those ones who read the Bible, all the theologians, they see in that little cloud the Virgin Mary. Because the, it's, it's a little cloud with, 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 with the rain inside, Rain is water, is the grace of God. It brings fertility and life. 
to the world. So like the Virgin Mary, who has in her womb the grace of God, which is Jesus Christ, and she gives to us Jesus Christ. So this is the, uh, the way we read the first reading and we relate to the Virgin of the Mount Carmel, Our Lady of Mount Carmel. This is 9th century before Christ. Now let us go 20 centuries later. It's 12th century after the death of Christ. In the 12th century, on that same mountain, the monks started their presence. And there is where the experience of the Carmelites starts. And their first father general was Simon Stock. He received the promise from the Our Lady of Carmel. The promise that uh, we continue to, to observe by wearing the scapular. You know that why we call it scapular? Scapula in Latin means shoulder. In fact, the scapula uh, is the thing that you wear, and there is a part that you wear at the back, then two wires, and the part in front. And you have in one part the image of the Virgin Mary, and in the other part there is a prayer that says the promise. What, is, what was that promise that the Virgin Mary gave to Simon Stock? It was the, what we call the privilege of the Sabbath, the Sabbath privilege. The Sabbath privilege was the promise by the Virgin Mary that those ones who wear the scapular, they would be freed from to go to purgatory the next Sabbath, after your death, you would go to heaven. So it's liberation from purgatory. This is the promise of the Virgin Mary of Mount Carmel to Simon Stock, the first Father General of the Carmelites. And this devotion is still up. protection of the body and yes of course they are but that is not the main concern of God because the main concern of God is not to keep us safe only for this life which is not only short is nothing in comparison with eternal life so that is the concern of God to keep our soul. So the scapula is main, mainly, mainly a protection for our soul. Just like all the prayers, all the devotions, all the communions, all the adoration that we do, we do those for the protection of our soul. Because and every mortal sin is breaking our soul. That's why we need healing. 